ating swimmer. Nanalo po ay swimmer from Spain. So, hindi po nanalo ang ating swimmer. Ay, no, hindi pa po tapos. Good morning, good morning. Come down to the 53 who's going to bring it home quickest, but he's, he's handled the, the butterfly and backstroke really well, as Jia Hong Wong. Now, Granitska, what does he do? Here comes Granitska. Granitska is an excellent breaststroker. You see, he does not breathe every stroke. And it's interesting because Jia is on his legs and Granitska is on his arms. But when he puts his head down like that and doesn't breathe every stroke, he gets that faster stroke. It does cause him to tighten up at the end, but if you train well for this, you can overcome that. And that's how he's starting to catch Jia here. And this is uh, where it comes down to. Granitska knows he's posted the times he needs to to win gold effectively at this championship, but nothing uh, needs to be or could be taken for granted. Jia is still holding on to the lead for now. Granitska looks very settled in his stroke. He's got the uh, significant wingspan advantage and in the front crawl, he brings it home in freestyle. He'll be very difficult to beat from this position. We should uh, mention Talison Glock is expected, lost a little at the best stroke, but he is gaining a little in the uh, free as he's coming home now alongside Gonitska. And it'll be the three of them to touch top three. Sanchez is only just managing to hold on, but lost so much across the best stroke. It is Gonitska ahead of Gia with Talison Glock of Brazil touching third quickest overall. So not Good morning, Jimmy. Really How was the typhoon? Oh no, Fairly tornado. <laughs> the reigning European world champion. So the Filipino exactly swimmer didn't make in it the in the top time. three. He's got a late draw for the final. Liam McRae of Switzerland comes home to touch fifth. And Gary Bagino of Philippines touches to round out the heat. Karenichka, though, has won the second heat of three for the men's 200-meter individual medley SM6. And that's a solid time for the preliminary swim. Here they are off the blocks. You see, Karenichka immediately falls behind with Ja taking out very hard in the fly and the backstroke. Karenichka's got a good fly. All he has to do is hang in there. And then there was Sanchez, of course. Excellent fly to start, but then they go into the backstroke, and the backstroke is really where Gia started to move ahead. I have then power Renita and no damage to the, the house, so all is well. Oh, that's very good to hear. arms entirely to pull him through, and then the freestyle, he just brought it home. You see Gia start to tire out a little bit there at the end. Knows that he needs to build a big advantage. He does have the second fastest time in the world this year, and he'll be going out a lot harder for the final. Results for the men's 200 meter. Oh, uh, the Philippines finished uh, at sixth the place. Many quarters ahead of Jia Hong Wang with uh, a great swim from Talison Glock. Third and final heat in the men's 200 meter individual medley SM6. Nelson Crispin will be among the favorites for this. Wang Jingong has put together a 2.41.16, not this year, but in the lead up to the games. Qualifying time that's uh, quicker than any other's qualifying times, but is he in form? Hasn't been swimming quite as much as some of the other competitors. Crispin. My, my of, mind is still uh, asleep. <laughs> Alcalde 
are going head to head here. And first out looking very strong are Wang and Crispin alongside one another in. Are you eating? Uh, yes, I'm show. having breakfast. <laughs> Zach Shuttick looking to keep pace in the system to classification. My, my. Here they are. Crispin and Wong, both very strong fly time, 32-5-7, and split looks good. Wong, here he comes into the back show. He's not actually swimming that straight. It was a little bit of a diagonal, and you see him, he, he bobs his head a little bit, which is not great because it, it reduces the efficiency of his stroke. He could keep his head straight a little bit more. That might help him. But now you see Crispin Corzo. You know, Enjoy. Got Thank you so much. He's, he's hanging in there. Backstroke is certainly not his best stroke. When he turns into the breaststroke, that's where he's going to probably make his move. Keep safe there. He's, uh, he's a phenomenal breaststroker and he will be looking to bring it home with the free. But Wang has got incredible leg power and, and he, he doesn't kick with a very high tempo, but he is somebody who knows how to use his leg strength in uh, the water, particularly for the fly back and free. And this is where you'll see very long... I'm watching the Paralympic swimming. Stroke, very relaxed breaststroke style of uh, Nelson Crispo. Only one bronze at the 2019 World Championships. He did win the World Championships in Mexico this City in 2017. And uh, brought great delight to the American community. This was hosted in Spanish-speaking Mexico. Spanish-speaking Colombia claimed the victory. The other really good breaststroker here is uh, Zach Shuttock and he's looking to get himself back into uh, the top three. Not only the top three having successfully done that, going beyond. Nice swimming is like...
of this Olympic pool, the 50 meter long course uh, pool here at the Tokyo Aquatic Center. At the moment, Ellie Simmons is And I learned from the Paralympic Channel that it's possible to do live streaming multiple live streamings at the same time from a single channel Oh, wow, sir, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's also my first time learning about it. So when I go to their channel, there are, they have um, multiple live streams at the same time. That's neat. So do you get multiple notifications for each live stream? Um, I don't know because I didn't turn on the notification bell for that channel. <laughs> okay, Jamie, thank you for tuning in. I will be ending this live stream now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.